Hello there, welcome to the perfume experience. My name is Rodney. So today I thought, let me do a quick comparison between two fragrances because after I bought out the Al Dirgam's uh, video uh, yesterday or a couple of days back, a lot of people have been commenting and uh, reaching out to me, DMing me, and asking me, uh, which one should I buy? Should I buy Al uh, Kaaf or should I buy uh, Dirgam? Okay, because I mentioned that they have similar DNA, right? So I thought, okay, let me answer this question and, you know, try and uh, tell you how they're slightly different or what should you pick between the two, okay? So if this is a question that, that many of them have got on their minds, I thought, okay, maybe this video will answer this particular question, all right? So, right, so I have uh, Ardal Zafran's Al Dirgam here, okay? And then there is Ahmed Al Maghrabi's Kaf, okay? So both are very, very popular summer fragrances. Now, this is inspired uh, from uh, Abercrombie and Fitch The Fierce, okay whereas this is inspired from chanel's allure sport okay now in both the cases i don't have the og so i don't know how close they are to the og okay so let's keep that aside let's talk about the fragrances okay now calf is very popular uh, for good reason because this is a performance beast okay so that is what this particular fragrance is it's a performance beast most importantly okay now when you talk about the scent profile of this one you get a very nice uh, floral fruity citrusy uh, musky kind of a signature uh, you know here which is uh, very very nice more white flower uh, you know induced uh, signature whereas here also you get a lot of citrusy white floral and a little bit of woody white okay now here the blend is on aldirgam the blend is very well rounded so you don't really you know identify any of those signatures things like the citrus element or the florals or the woody wives you kind of get a single linear fragrance which is you know uh, which is more like a very refreshing mix of all of them so you know it's a pretty nice fragrance that way but as here in calf i feel the citrusy the musky element or you know the white floral elements are a little more pronounced and you kind of recognize them instantly and this lasts also pretty uh, long, right? Now, scent profile wise or between the two, both of them are equally good. In fact, when you put them on, the first few minutes, both of them are really, really good in terms of the projection lasting uh, for about the first 40 minutes or so. Superb, okay? The difference happens after that, whereas Dirgam starts to go down and I told you that this performs for about four hours, five hours. Calf, on the other hand, can do a full day. Okay, when I say a full day, you can do a eight to nine hours easily especially on apparels okay so you know if you do about six to eight sprays or even if you do about 10 sprays each this will out outperform this very very easily okay so you will easily get good eight to nine hours of performance on calf no doubts about it even if you would put it on and go out in the sun and if you're outdoors also it will last you about four to five hours time which i do not think dirgam will last for even two and a half three hours if you do or, you know if you're outdoors in the sun okay but on apparel if you're indoors and all you will get about four to five hours here you will almost get twice of that you will get eight to nine hours okay so that is the biggest difference in terms of the uh, performance that you will get because you want a fragrance in the summer that to uh, to perform really well you it should either project well and it should last well that's that that's the two you know main criteria right so that way calf gets that right now in terms of price point there is a difference okay now this uh, 100 ml should uh, get about I think 1899, 2000 rupees is something you will easily get this. This I'm getting uh, right now. I'm able to offer this at about 1350 to, uh, you know, uh, that kind of a price band. So if anybody's looking, I can kind of get you that, right? So there's a 500 rupees to uh, 650 rupees difference, you can say, or you can say 500 to 600 rupees difference because like I said, 1850, 2000 rupees, you should get this. This you can say 1350. Okay, so that is another element, right? So that is the primary difference bit in the price point right so obviously this is a little more expensive okay now bit but does it justify totally yes because it lasts twice that amount of time and if you between the two i feel this has got a much more refined scent profile this is a little more classier in terms of a scent profile is what i kind of think when i compare with dirgam okay so yes so between the two what should you pick it's totally up to you what kind of a fragrance uh, you know price point you're looking at and what is it that you want are you okay to respray it a couple of times and you know if you're doing if you're fine doing that then you can get dirgam but if you want more value for money if you're willing to spend the extra 500 600 rupees and get a fragrance that can last long especially in the summers definitely get Ahmed al maghrabi's hands down definitely a much much better fragrance another reason is Ahmed al maghrabi's fragrances have high level of concentration okay so this one for example has 
44 uh, uh, yeah so it's a pretty high concentration uh, fragrance when compared to this so that's another reason why it kind of lasts also longer so between the two my pick is definitely cuff this is what i would pick and this is what i've recommended to a lot of people so those are the two differences between these two uh, fragrances one of course performance which is higher in cuff and price which is also higher in cuff dirgam is lower on price point and lower on performance scent profiles are both white flower citrusy um, you know fragrances but this has got a little more muskier approach and you know it's a little more sharper little more louder uh, compared to uh, aldirgam in the longer run after the 40 minutes mark to the end of the uh, you know uh, time period of these two fragrances right so that has been my quick summary to let you know the differences between the two if you like the type of video and the content that i bring please like the uh, channel subscribe and share and comment as well so if you comment it really in, you know uh, keeps me going to figure out what is it that you need uh, there have been a lot of other video requests that are coming which will i will do as soon as possible right so you're watching the perfume experience my name is rodney take care bye now